Okay, so I had a question from somebody about timing diagrams and what those would look like. So let's talk about first this simple example. So this is a three input AND gate, okay? So A, B, and C are my inputs. X is my output, right? And so each one of the inputs is varying at different points, whether it's high or low, right? And so I tend to come back in and just visually draw a dotted line across where the low value would be for each one of these inputs. So this would be high, right? And that would be equal to one, and this would be low, and that would be a zero. So this would be high here, this would be low. It's same here, all right? Okay, so now I wanna draw the timing diagram, the waveform for X, okay? So I'm gonna, I've kind of extended my lines there and I'm gonna come across first and draw my dotted line for the low value of X, All right? And I'm gonna label that one X as well, All right? So right here, when we start, we see that A is zero, B is zero and C is one, okay? So if it was an AND diagram, right? those things would all be, that means everything has to be one or the output to be one. So right there coming in, that value would be low. I change pins just so it'll show up a little better. All right, and then we get to the line. So it's got to, we need to check again. All right, so now it's one for A, it's one for B and one for C. So we need to go up to the high value. And it's gonna stay high across there, right? We're gonna check again. So now A is gone to zero, B is still one, C is still one, but A being zero means it's gonna go low. So it's gonna go low and stay low across there. We're gonna check again. So here A goes back to one, but B is zero right here, and C is zero. And A is one, right? So it's gonna stay zero. Now it's zero for a different reason, but it's still zero, okay? So now we're gonna check the next line. Now A has gone to zero. So even though this is one, this happens to be zero. Any one of them being zero will keep it zero. All right, we'll go to the la this next to last point. Now this goes to one, this is one, this goes to one, so it's gonna go high again. It's gonna stay high as it runs across there, all right? And so as we look at that, right, that would be the value of X, all right? So you can see where it's high, it goes to one here. Okay, hope that helps, bye.